Hey, what is up, guys? Anthony Rudolph here, and welcome to the Born to Create podcast. Now, Born to Create is a simple concept. If who or what you want to be doesn't exist, you want to create the life that you want because we were all born to create. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. Listening to me on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Anchor, Amazon, Google, welcome. I appreciate every single second that you guys give me. Um, and this podcast is very, very valuable to me. And it makes me smile because you guys are you guys are showing giving, giving me so much love and value. All right. So today's podcast, this podcast is with one of my very very first mentors, someone who really spoke into my life and is probably responsible for me being here and me being an entrepreneur. Miss Angel Stevens. Angel is a dynamic entrepreneur, speaker, and person. So it's very very important that you kick back. You pay attention, limit all distractions, turn off your phone, turn off your TV, turn off your iPad, whatever you have on, turn it off. You're going to want to uh, take some serious notes and listen to what Andrew has to say, all right? So enjoy the podcast, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye. All right, guys, welcome to Born to Create. So I'm super excited right now. <laughs> I'm super excited. I'm, I'm cheesing. She's cheesing because it's, it's, been, it's been a while since we've connected. Uh, one of my most favorite people in the whole wide world, Ms. Angel Stevens. Welcome to the podcast. How are you today? Thank you. I'm incredible. Such an honor and treat to be here. I'm like, super yes. excited. Yes, yes. And I don't, think, I don't think I've ever told you this, but um, but you are one of the reasons where why I'm an entrepreneur, right? I mean, you. I remember years ago, uh, it was at a prepaid legal event over at the IHOP in Reno Valley, right? And you were you were there and, and you were speaking and I was just so, I was so inspired, right? So just, just so inspired by, by everything you were saying. And I'm like, you know what? I, I think I wanna make a change and uh, start working for myself. So, uh, but I don't know if I ever told you, but but you you were one of the biggest reasons why I'm, I'm where I am now and then why I became an entrepreneur. So, so, so thank you very much for speaking into my life all those years back, it, uh, made, a, it made a difference. Right, it's made a difference. So, yeah, um, <laughs> it, it's true. Um, so, I'll, I have you on the show because uh, because of who you are, what you've done, what, you, what you've achieved, and then the ability that you have to motivate, inspire, and encourage people to, to live what they dream and then create what they want. Um, so, let's go a little bit back into how did you become or get an interest in becoming an entrepreneur and wanting to work for yourself? Mm, truthfully, it started when I was a kid. Not that I had anyone that was an entrepreneur around me. I just knew that what I wanted to do, I didn't really think it was a job. Yeah. I should say that. I knew I always wanted to know how I could how I could make money talking to people and making them be happy and in a better place. I used to ask my mom that when I was a kid. And so I hadn't quite figured out entrepreneurship as a child, because as I mentioned, it wasn't a lot of people around me doing that at all. At least then, then some of them, at least not legally. <laughs> <Right. laughs> so, but it really did start um, there because I don't think I actually ever envisioned working for someone outside of, I thought I was going to be a detective attorney that doesn't exist, but I was going to make it up, yeah, you know, right. <laughs> <laughs> from watching Perry Mason. Right, and right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then, you know, years later, the bug really bit me, you know, while I was on active duty and things of that nature. And I started realizing, like, I would really like to work for myself and then have an opportunity to meet people who were doing that and having success. I just thought, gosh, I could do that, too. Yeah. But it didn't start right away. But right. you know, I got the bug back then, many, many years ago. What was your like? What was like your first entrepreneurial um, venture? Like, what was the first things? Because like the, the last guy on the podcast, he kind of cringed. Like, yeah, well, it wasn't legal, but it was entrepreneurship. Right? <laughs> so, like, like, what was your first venture into entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship, okay. Because I was going to say, there's things that I did that gave me the freedom, but they were sales. It was an entrepreneurship. I remember selling candy bars as as a kid when I was a brownies, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, and when I was in school, and I could, you know, you get those little 
things and you go out and you sell yeah. the candies. And I was like, wow, this is like amazing. I can just talk to people and people are actually purchasing, right? Yeah. But I, you can't count that. But when I think back, I'm pretty sure that is added to my character build of where I am today. But my first thing as an entrepreneur was in Germany selling Tupperware. Oh, really? Okay. And I couldn't speak a lick of German, but <laughs> it so, made it happen. Yeah. <laughs> it made it happen. It made it happen. Yeah. Selling Tupperware. Wow. And, and so with that, did it, did it inspire you to keep going? I mean, because I mean, obviously you kept going, but like, what was the road to like where you are now? Tupperware to then, like, what was next? So I ended up joining the military. And, but prior to military, I was in Germany and I had a friend who recruited me and I lived out on the economy and I don't even really remember making any money, but I got some free Tupperware items, right, right, right. but I went out and I, I, I realized I didn't really have fear. She just told me what to do. And I remember going out and talking to my neighbors and it was only, only a black person in that community that didn't speak German. I don't even think they knew what I was saying, but they showed up <laughs> anyway. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I think out had a curiosity. <laughs> but um, yeah, when I joined the military, you know, later on in my, in my years in the military, you meet a lot of people and folks always talk to those in the uniform because right. we know people, right? And so I had gotten involved right. in a couple of um, telecommunication businesses, uh, uh, financial service businesses. And even though I didn't have the financial success that I was looking for, I began to learn a lot. Right. And it really opened my, my eyes to, to folks that, as I mentioned earlier, that they're succeeding and they're, they're living life on their own terms. They're figuring yeah. it out and they're taking risk. And the cool part about, it, you know, I believe being introduced at that time is the time of being in the military where you're in these type of trainings where you begin to learn about yourself and how it's okay to take risk. And if you just trust, you know, what's being put in front of you, you can also begin to trust yourself. And, and so I think it was easier to, it became, it was easier for me to take a risk maybe than if I hadn't been exposed to um, what I had been when I, while on active duty. So yeah. I think that really played a part, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, it's it like it played a big part. And it's something you said was like really interesting because a lot of people think that I guess every venture they have to get into has to be something that's paid. The only way that this is successful is, is like if I make money doing it. And you like learn from experience, make a little money, but learn more from experience, right? So that experience that you learn from that business, how that play a role into like your next business, your or not your business, but your 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 confidence your 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 motivation high high learning propel you for prepare you for that next level is so um you know you when you think you you think you believe in yourself yeah. and you don't really know how much you believe into in yourself until you're you're put face to face with something where you better believe in you or yeah. <laughs> right. it's over right yeah. Yeah. and um i started to i started to believe that i could and I just, that was the biggest thing that I could, I hadn't found maybe the right vehicle, maybe this could be the vehicle, but I just really started to believe that I could. And I started, you know, being around different people and reading things and seeing things. And that really increased my confidence yeah. in myself and the things that were out there. And so I knew that if I wanted to have X, Y, Z life, then I would have to possibly do X, Y, Z things. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was always willing to take a chance if there was someone there to teach me. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and it, it was in the doing that the revelation showed up. It was in the doing that the confidence showed up and increased. And so I believe that would be the best way to answer that question. Yeah. And uh, I, that's true because I've, I've learned, I learned a, a lot by over the years, just like watching how you move, watching how you speak and just watching you put together different events. And because you were doing events back when it wasn't, I guess they always, always been popular, but it wasn't like, like mainstream, right? But you got people in the room and you got people inspired. And and every so often I, I think about your presentation when you did Bag Lady. Right. That that for, for me was like, ah, I mean, I think about that all the time because it's, it's really 
is real, right? And people carry carry around so much, so much mess, but thinking that that mess defines who they are, right? So, um, just like watching and learning. Um, so in in that, what what do you see like the importance of like community? You know, in growing yourself and growing your business, how's important? How important is it for people to get into a community? Community is huge because, especially, I believe each each of us each of us have something special, important, and purposeful for someone else, right? Yeah. Yeah. But if you're not building a community, it doesn't matter how much you grow that thing. Yeah. Your folks don't know about it. Yeah. And I believe like that was one of my my challenges. Like you said, well, you got folks in the room, but I'm like, it could have been so much more grander had I been, you know, not afraid to step out more in social media because it was new back then, but yeah. just yeah. saying to heck with it because I was saying to heck with it out in public to people, but I hadn't figured yeah. out how to do that online thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, um, yeah. And, you know, when you're stumbling with everything else and you're like, oh, and add that too, how do I make that happen and make it real? But community is huge because I just think about how much more grander things could have been then and could be, you know, today yeah. um, taking a different stride because community is important because that's who you're doing it for, whoever yeah, right. you are, whoever your tribe is or your community in this, in, in the word that you're using. So it's huge. Because how do you know that your purpose is purposeful if you're not sharing it with anyone? Right, right. You don't know, right? And then, and then you, you you touch so many people. I mean, even for me, just like I, I was, uh, I think I, I was a little bit shy back then, right? Because you know, I, I really wasn't confident, and I mean, like this this podcast back then would never never would happen, right? Because I, I I didn't have the confidence, but but once I got into a place where I was meeting people, talking to people and, and knowing that that the message that I had, it really wasn't, it's really not for me, it's for people out there because, you know, the things that, I used to think that everything that I've been, that I've been through in my life, it was just me, right? No one knows how, how the struggles I had, no one knows how the issues I had, but, but once I started seeing that other people have similar, um, had similar adversity, it, it made me be more confident and open up, open up and sharing, right? Um, and then I, I know I keep going back to it, but just like, you know, you know, watching you branch out was like really like really that was that was inspiring to my walk. Right. And I remember the the last event that we did, I think I had my I think I had my little daughter there, right? Um, and then and, and my wife was there as well, right? Mm -hmm. But we still made everything happen, right? Everything still um, um and if it's memorable to this day, there was something there that was like good, but that was life-changing, right? Um so have you done anything? Uh, how many how many events have you done? If you like online, offline, like where are you at now as far as as far as your event business? All right, that's a great question. I have to tell you this too. You're always so awesome and great. I can always see the the power within you, and you know, at, from there to till today, it has just been growing and stirring up and spilling out. And there's so much more of you that I saw then that still hasn't spilled out to today. Wow. So boy. <laughs> Yeah, you about to blow your own mind and everybody else around. Oh, so again, congratulations you. You on that. Thank You're you. welcome. You're welcome. Um, so I've moved from, of course, in person to online. Right. I've uh, launched a couple of events. Um, I've done quite, a, you know, I have some some real fun things I do um, called Stop the BS. Um, that's like a five day. Um, challenges. Stop the BS. The BS stands for belittling stories. You know, the stories that we tell ourselves, right? And, you know, yeah, sure, it's a great play on words, but it's true when you stop the BS, and you can say whatever it is to you, but I call it belittling stories, how much, you know, things shift. Um, I did the seven keys to, um, seven keys to the A-game lifestyle, similar to some of the stuff you've seen before, but I've branched it out and I did a few uh, courses last year on that. I haven't done anything this year, but I'm launching again at the end of October and it's a six month program. Wow, okay. So 
I'm super excited about that. It has been virtual and it's amazing. And, and it's true what you share when you open up that box and you begin to share, even though it's from a different platform, how you can yeah. still teach lives, yeah. no matter where they are and then see the success that people are having when they actually apply, you know, apply it and step out on faith for themselves. So that's been really fun. So I'm excited about that of doing the, the online coaching and the virtual uh, workshops because, you know, got it placed in my heart that I was going to have help thousands upon thousands of people. And I know, knew that that wouldn't just be in my immediate reach, that it was going to be outside. And so I'm very grateful now for embracing the online world because now I could touch people. So that's, that's the process I'm working on too, is reaching out and touching more people. No, we're just, we're just like you saying, that just actually gave me a chill um, because your goal is to help thousands of thousands of people. And what I instantly seen is like, you know, that is one that comes from not just you, but the people who actually branch off from you. Right. So, so just me being inspired by you back then now, now, now I'm taking that and I'm, I'm reaching people as well too. Right. So it's like, you know, you reach people through people and people that you, you know, you, you speak into and like, you know, send them off and, and, yeah, that's yeah, that's something that's truly amazing to me. Um, you know, our, I guess our goal is to build people to go out there and 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 make a difference in life, right? And like that's 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 truly what you're doing. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's 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 it's, it's fun. It's funny. I like, I didn't realize these things since I started start talking to you today. I'm like, oh, this is where this came from. Oh, this 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 is like why I'm a certain ways because okay, I stole some from Angel. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's hey, it's it's working. So so I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a keep taking if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah. if you don't mind. No, and I'm so grateful for your encouragement because we all need it. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times we say, oh, it's just you, you're, you're great, but we need that encouragement from, from everyone. Yeah. And so I just appreciate it because you, you don't realize you pour into my life as well. Yeah. And so just even, even the words of encouragement can, can lift you up to the next level, you know, keep right. you floating when you feel like you're being anchored down. So I right. appreciate that. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Everybody needs to be encouraged. I mean, even me, myself, I think sometimes I, I get frustrated and, and, and wonder, you know, who's watching, who's listening, you know, is, am I reaching anybody? And I asked that question just maybe two days ago, right? And I'm like, you know, you know, God, is this, is this podcast worth it? Is it reaching anybody? You know, is, is what I'm doing, you know, teaching and inspiring, you know, is, is it working? Um, and then that day, I went into a coffee shop and, and I was uh, I was getting you know my, my my coffee oatmeal and this guy looks at me and says hey you know you know I I know you from a, a past event and I, of course I know who he was so he he said my name he said and he said yeah, thank you for doing what you're doing right you know you know I appreciate it because you inspired me to you know, to, to like launch my business and keep going I'm like huh okay uh, is this like like a a fluke or something coincidence right. So that that night, I take my, my daughter and son to go work out at the gym, play basketball. The, 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 the gym is packed, and this guy walks up to me off the game, says the exact same thing, a completely different guy. Hey, I met you at an event, and, you know, you inspired me to launch my business and do this. I'm like, wow, right? And we don't we don't know that that's that I didn't know that, that that was happening you know I'm thinking that no one's no one's listening no one can hear but um, it's not true right people are out there listening and watching and um, and inspired by your words and to me to me that was humbling and to me I, I was so grateful and you know I'm like okay you know what this is worth it so thank you God for showing me how worth it how worth it it is so. Yeah. yeah, that is awesome. I want to scream because you're like, are people listening? And God wanted you to know, are you listening? So let me are show you, you right? right. Let, let right. me let you know that I heard right. you too. So right. you need to hear. So how awesome is that? And then look how fast he moved because you were right. open. You asked the question. You never know how the answer is showing up, right? right. right. So he's speaking to you twice in case you didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> the time like, I'm going to confirm right. it for you. No, it's not a fluke. I'm trying right. to tell you something. That's so awesome. Right. 
Yeah, yeah, it was awkward. So I mean that I mean now I, I'm able to just like keep going and keep pushing and be persistent because you know it it helps, you know, like what what I feel I'm doing now helps and, and inspires and like that's my goal, right? It's, it's to help people create what they want because I know I know it's a journey, right? I mean I know I know it can be frustrating, it can suck sometimes, and um I want to be that voice. So so yeah, that's that's a, that's that's where it is as of now. <laughs> Exactly. So, so tell me more about your about your event. So your next one you says is in October. It's in October, so it's okay. a six month program. Um, I'm finishing up some things. To, it's going to be so just full and rich of content that when uh, an entrepreneur or a budding entrepreneur, you know, takes the course transformation is inevitable. Like, I know that where they start and how they end, they won't even recognize themselves at the end of six months. Wow. The only reason why they won't see the change and shift in the areas that they're looking to get the change and shift, maybe they don't even know what it is that they want. They just know they want something. They'll know what they want and will be moving towards it if it hasn't already happened by the end of the right. six months. I'm so excited and confident because I know the steps that they're going to go through and I know what will happen for them when they actually apply it. Even if in the beginning, their 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 belief and their faith is small. Because this, I do know, you know, they say one thing for sure, for certain, I've always wanted to say that, right? Is that, <laughs> is that he does give you things based on the of your faith. But all you need is to have a little bit yeah. and we can work with that. Right, yeah. we can work with it and just begin to show people how they can build and and move from one from one place to the next. And you hear people talk about that a lot, but I'm excited because one of the things that I I feel that stops people the most is a lack of clarity. Oh, okay. People are just not clear. They don't know what they want, what they really want, not what society says they should want, or their spouse, or their significant other, their kids, or children, their parents, or friends but what they really, really want. Yeah. Some people even know how to search for that. So I'm, I'm excited to, you know, for when that starts and for those who take part, right? To be able to play a part in helping you get clear because the world shifts when it does, when you're clear. I can think about when I'm foggy, when I'm, off, when I'm clear and I'm knowing where I'm going, like nothing stands in the way, right? And it's so, it's so great. It's that old song. You remember that song that says, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. People yeah. say, well, that doesn't make any sense. You know, I can see all the obstacles in my way. Because you're, when you're clear, you can see what's stopping you, what, where the open doors are. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah. And being clear, it, it, it removes all the confusion, right? Because, like, you're not, you're not confused anymore. And, and you can see... You can see, um, you, you, you can just see clearly. Um, so why why did you choose six months? So it's, it's like that's that's a, it's a, it's a very intense. So why why six months? For a couple of reasons. Um, so the first reason um, is just I have coaches too. So you know, work with coaches and and how they learning how long it takes for a shift and a change to happen for people, right? Because so. Um. You, there's a lot of things you have to break through. But another reason is from the eight week program I did, you know, being able to go back and speak to some of the, the past students and they say, man, you're gonna do a six month. I wish I could have done that. If I could have spent more time, it just, yeah. it happened so fast. Yeah. And I wanna, this time I want to make sure that I can spend some time in the concepts that they're learning so that they can really see understand it and see it and receive what it is that they're going for instead of just moving to the next thing because yeah. some of them that took the class they're 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 moving ahead they're doing awesome and then i see a few where i feel like they're still they're still hovering in some places because it wasn't the time wasn't spent long enough it's just too fast it's too fast not not what i believe that i'm purposed for right is, you know, I, I like my handle is on IG, A Game Expert. And people say, well, what's that? I'm like, well, I help people get on their A Game. And a lot of times people feel that A Game is 
when you hear people say, oh, you're going to go play ball? You better bring your A-game. Oh, you're going to go do this show? You better bring your A-game. You bring your A-game all the time, right? In different, yeah. in all your areas right. of life. It doesn't have to be something big. So what do you only right. bring your A-game when it's a big thing and all the other times it's your DNC game? You know what I mean? <laughs> I like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's twenty four seven. Like whatever you're doing, whether you're vacuuming the floor or speaking in front of thousands of people, it's like your your A game has to be there. I I love that. Yeah, Yeah. because you think about the we we ask for this lifestyle and um, this A game. I call it the A game lifestyle, and that's different for everyone, right? Because life, we all have that, but style is how you choose to live it. And so this is different for different people. It's different for different people in all in all walks of life. You know, some people they don't necessarily want to work for themselves, but they want to be the best that they can be at their place of employment. Some people don't want to work, you know, they just want to be stay-at-home parents or something of that nature. It doesn't really matter what it is. But um I probably have gone way off course of what you just asked me last. So I'm gonna stop talking there. <laughs> Where did that go? Uh, you're, you're, you're narrow, of course. Like wherever this, wherever this thing goes, it goes. Right? Narrow, of course. Yeah. Uh, so I wanna uh, talk to you uh, next about, about, uh, about pivoting, right? As, as, uh, a lot of times as, as people, as entrepreneurs, whether you're at home, or you're out in the workplace, you have your own business, sometimes you have to actually pivot to answer the call and really do what you're called to do and to create um, what you want to create. So um, talk to me about a, a time that you had to pivot in order to, it may have been uncomfortable, but you had to pivot in order to actually get what you want. Mm-hmm. Th- those are great things. I can give you one that just happened recently and one a while back for, I was in the military 10 years. I was um, enlisted in commission, but I, like, as I mentioned, I knew for sure then I wanted to work for myself and I wanted to have a business. I had no idea what it would be in. And um, it was at that time where it was like, okay, you're going to take command or, you know, you're going to move off to another place. And so my um, commanding officer, he had the carrot in front of me, but I remember having a, a mentor who said, when you get to a point where it's taxing to put one foot in each pant leg, it's time to, to make some decisions and sit down. And I remember I got to that point and I was like, this is, do I get out now? Does that make sense? I want to have my own business. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. You know, where are you going to do it? I don't know, you know, but I just knew that it was time. And I was like, but if I don't do it now, is it going to happen or when will it happen? Wow. So I took the plunge and everyone's like, you can get out. you've been in 10 years. Why not do 10 more years? Or some people were like, what about the benefits? Or what about this? And what about that? And I just felt, I, I remember praying about it and I stopped listening to all the other voices because I had my own voices going on in my head, right? Asking me all the doubtful questions and you know all the great questions. And so I was like, I can't take all the other voices. I have to get quiet with myself. And I remember saying, taking a deep breath when, when that point hit. And I can't describe it exactly other than I remember a piece that came along, upon me and I said, I'm gonna do it. And I did it a smart way though. Yeah, of course. I was able to set up if, if I'd made the wrong decision, I had a year you know, to shift around. But I remember that was the biggest one to walk me into my own business. And even though it didn't happen right away, it, it, it was almost a year later after I got out of the But that's what I asked for. Now, I don't know if you want that part of the story, but that was the first pivot. The second pivot was recently, as I mentioned, I, I was living in California, which of course is where we met. Yeah. And I now live in sunny Florida, my tagline where I feel like I'm on a vacation every single day. <laughs> <laughs> and I always knew that I wanted to live in Florida and that I was supposed to live in Florida, I had ignored the urge. And when it got to the point that I couldn't ignore it anymore, I said, okay. So I started looking and every time I would fly somewhere on this side of the, of the world, I would end up in Florida. I would stop and I'd go look at property and I'd look at the cities and all that. And so eventually I was like, yeah, I'm gonna move to Fort Lauderdale area. And I was searching and searching and nothing would work out. Either it was like the house would be on the market and someone else would come and get it. You know, if it was a new home, 
was out of my range or it was already sold. Right. And then when they were, you know, getting me qualified, I couldn't get qualified for enough. But in the interim, I kept hearing um, Tampa, this, which is the city that I live in, which was a little odd because I'd never lived, never been here before. I didn't know anyone who lived here, but I knew certain things that I was asking God for. Yeah. And I just kept hearing it and I just kept throwing it to the side. And so the last time I had visited, I um, had an agent in this one particular area. Anyways, she wanted to tell me about Orlando, but she mentioned Tampa. So I always say God wanted her to say something about Tampa. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm asking God for huge things in my life, right? right. Yeah. Wise, financially, in my business. And I just kept hearing Tampa. Tampa. So finally, I said, we'll go online and look up, you know, the best 10 top cities for entrepreneurs and single people. And oh, wow. That yeah. was an interesting search. Wow. That's an yeah. interesting search. Okay. And let me tell you, I'll probably never find this article again. I don't want to because it'll mess up my story. But Miami was number one and Tampa was number two. Really? I said, okay. And so three weeks later, I flew back out to Tampa and I knew exactly what I was looking for. Remember about clarity? So I knew yeah. like what I wanted in the home. I now didn't want to look at any more pre-owned. I was looking at all new homes. Now, originally I was supposed to leave California in 2016. That's when I threw up my hands, but I didn't leave in 2016. That, that, that year has a reason that I'm sharing that now. Anyways, um, to finish the story, Anthony, when I came out that weekend, the home that I live in now was the last home I saw that day on day one. And I, I looked at all the homes. And when I chose this one, that was in September. And in December, I had closed. I was closing and moving into my brand new home. And it was the last home in this community that had been here for a while. This was a model home that had got lost in inventory. It had just been sitting what? here. And it was built in 2016. It didn't get lost. That It didn't get lost. It was been saved for you. It has been saved for me, like all yeah. those years, just yeah. sitting here. And everything that I, I knew that I wanted, I got and so much more. What year did you buy the house? 2019. Are you, so from, from 16 and 19, which is sitting there? Sitting here. Wow. Yeah, my agent asked the sales guy, he, she says, so how, I mean, how's that possible? Like, it's a lot of house and the, the yeah. price is like really good. And he says, I guess it got lost in inventory. And one day I just read my email. It's just been sitting here. So, but it was in 2016 that I was originally supposed to move. And wow. I, I wasn't obedient. Right. But, and then, like I said, Tampa, Tampa. And then the crazy part is when I came to Tampa, when they redid my numbers, when they qualified, they basically doubled how much I qualified for. Like everything just went like explosion crazy. Wow. And I didn't even use all of that. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah, if they yeah, gave yeah. me that amount earlier, I would have gotten this one home that was in on the other part of Florida. Right. You follow me? Like everything just kept, it was just like a maze. It was running from me. But right. the moment that I, I followed, I followed the tapping that I heard, you know, I followed spirit. I heard God yeah, yeah. and everything has just fallen into place. It's like amazing. Like I'm sitting in my home office now. I'm looking at the water outside my window. You know, it's um. Yeah, the water outside your window, really. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds great, but it is the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's like what do they call that? Lakefront, waterfront, but yeah. it's really nice, you know. And I remember saying to God, if I just you know, could take one of my bedrooms and turn it into an office, I'll be happy. And he said, no, I'm going to give you your own office. And we won't have to touch any of those other bedrooms. Wow. So it's just, wow. it's just great. Well, that's how you live since I've known you, right? You've always had that, had that, have had, had that faith and, and that trust and like knowing, knowing like what you wanted, right? I, it, it, I guess it, it, it's just magnified from, from back then to now, but this has been you for a while, right? Is this is that, that, that energetic spirit who, who despite, any adversity that, that that comes up, I mean, you you press forward and you still know what you want, even though there may be some times of um of being cloudy. But at the at the end of the day, you always come out victorious and come out and, and get what you want. So, and that's that, that's rare, but it's like it's like a true inspiration, right? It's, but it's it's just persistence. It's like, I guess what I'm saying, like knowing that I want this, I'm going after it, despite the obstacles, the hurdles, I'm going after it. So yeah. you you got it. Um, so talk to me now about, uh, uh, you mentioned a few times about mentorship. 
right? So how important has that been in your life? Mm. It's been some of everything because if I could get there by myself, I would have. Yeah. Love that. Love that statement. Yeah. So uh, the mentoring and coaching are, are in a sense two different things. But that mentoring and, and coaching, because sometimes I have one person who was both, and then many times I've had mentors and I've had coaches. They've, um, you don't know what you don't know. But when you get to a point that you can be open to know that you don't know what you don't know, yeah. you have to be open to that because we don't know what we don't know. But if you're not open to that, when someone shows up who does know what we don't know, you'll miss what they know. Yeah. Yeah. I know that sounds like a lot of play on words, but yeah. you know, you'll know you have to go back and rewind this and, and listen to the <laughs> part. But um, when you realize that you don't know what you don't know and you become open to mentorship and coaching and training, the world shifts, mm -hmm. right? Because it's like, if you, if, if, if you can imagine as someone, as you're listening to this, you can imagine where you're sitting right now, whether you're in your room or car or whatever, and let's just use the, the analogy of, of, of light and darkness, right? And you're sitting in um, this light, but it's just right where you're sitting. And when you look past the light, it's just dark, right? You can't see. So it doesn't look like anything. It just looks void, you know, could be a wall to you or whatever. But someone else that's sitting right next to you, especially when they're looking to help you expand and become a, the bigger part of you, they have the light switch, right? Like it's not dark to them where you see void, they actually see light. And yeah. so if you're, if you're open to the time, cause sometimes mentoring and coaching is, 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 um, is um, what's the word I want to use? I'll use this word. It's on the spot. Like you may never even see that person again. It might be a 10 minute conversation and you were just mentor or you just got coached, you know, in that time frame. And then sometimes it's ongoing, right? So you know how it shows up that old saying it is true when the student is ready, the teacher, you know, will appear. Right. Right. But when you're open to that and they turn on that light, your world just expanded. It just got bigger. Yeah. Expansion is huge. Yeah, I mean, once you once you expand, you it'd be possible for you to shrink back down to your to your old thinking. Uh, so yeah, mentorship it, it's been huge in my life, right? Um, and I think a lot of people downplay the importance of having a good mentor in your life. You know, I mean, you can you can do certain things from YouTube University. So certain things you can do, but have, having that person that can speak directly into your life and say, hey, you know, this is where where um, um, uh, I've been. So um, a friend of mine uh, said, and I hope I, hope I get it right. He said, having a mentor is, is, is like, he said, I, I'm the ant and the mentor is the giraffe. The ant climbs up the hill, the, the mentor is the giraffe sees over the hill, right? So it's like, okay, the mentor can, can see what's coming. While we're climbing, they, they already see what, what we are, we're facing. So I believe mentorship is, is huge. Um, but the, but again, also having the right one, but uh, I think having the right one will, will put you where you need to be, right? So, uh, so, so you, you're saying Florida is like a vacation, right? So tell me what's so good about about Florida, because I guess I, I was there maybe two years ago. It was I was in Florida. It was super nice, but it was just humid. Right? It was just humid. It was it, it was hot, but the water out there is amazing. It rains every five minutes, right? But then it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> it comes, 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 comes and goes, comes and goes. Uh, so tell me why you like Florida so much. Yeah, when the, the rainy season shows up. Um, first, of all, it's like you about to be too spiritual. I, I believe because I'm where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. It's what makes it great. But the other part, I can't really explain it, but it's, it's everything that I imagine it would be. And so it is. Yeah. You know, I imagine oh, yeah, I have so, a great yeah. community and in, in my community is great. I imagine I would have great neighbors and my neighborhood would be awesome where I could walk at any time of the day or night and yeah, feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it reminds me of being in that tropic air, you know, when you get off the, the plane or the boat and you're like, ah, yeah. 
on vacation. That's how I just feel. You know, the people are nice and people are like, they're not nice. I'm like, I guess you get what you're looking for. Yeah, it's yeah, great yeah. to me. Amen to that. You should yeah. do what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. And I see something new every day. People are like, oh, you'll get used to being here. I'm like, well, how could I? Yeah. Every day I see something new for the first time. Yeah. Any gators? Uh, when I went to the zoo, I haven't seen any just oh. out yet. I've yeah. seen cranes and uh, I have cranes. Yeah. cranes. Yeah, can you believe that? Uh, and I have a host of little lizards that are, you know, <laughs> frogs. Okay, in the beginning, I was a little nervous, but I've, I've, I'm settling in where yeah. it's just kind of that thing of life. And then I'm like, ah, <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's when you start to learn you live by yes, yourself. Yes, yes. Any any connections with the uh, the uh, old crew? Talking yeah, about I do. I still stay in contact. Right. Thank God the technology. You know, FaceTime, Zoom, um, all these other little crazy little apps that are out there. So yeah. I do stay in contact. So that's good. I I don't feel like I really missed much of a beat of of um, relationships. Yeah during the pandemic. I still haven't met like a lot of people here in in the city because you know, in the beginning it was closed. And when you work from home, you're you're mighty busy, you yeah. know, on home and online and stuff. And you forget like, oh yeah, I left the house today, <laughs> you know. Right, I haven't right, gone right. here today. But um right. yeah. Yeah. So I'm asking you to do something um one because I know you can do it so well. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and two, because it, it's, it's needed, right? Okay. So the, uh, the podcast we want to create is for people who are entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs, people who want to get into business, people who are, who are in business. So if someone wants to get into business, but just doesn't know, doesn't know like the right steps would take to actually get going and people who are in business, but they want to hit that next level. Right. So I want to I want to request that you take a minute to just, just to talk to talk to talk to the people and really give them a few action steps to take to either get started or to scale a little bit, um, but more from from a mind a mindset point of view. OK. OK, I was about to say, oh, that's loaded, but actually. I want to speak to both people and it's the same conversation. Yes. Um, and it's to get clear on what you want. So the new person who knows, you know, know, you know that you know in your heart that you want to have a business and you want to get started. First of all, I want to share with you, congratulations, mm -hmm. right? That's the first step because you, you've made that decision. And then I want to tell you that it's okay, no matter what's going to happen, what anyone else thinks, you be okay with the thought that has come into your mind and to your heart. Okay, that's the most important thing and to hold on to that and don't let anyone take it away from you. After that part, get clear on what it is that you wanna do. Even if it's not where you stay, just get clear on what that is. And then find someone who's doing that thing and then do what they do. That's the easy part. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, but yeah. that's that. That can be that can be a start. There's no sense in falling on your face when there's so many other people who have probably has done or they're doing what you're looking to do. And guess what? Some of it's free. Go on YouTube, right? Pick up a book. Pick up Audible. You know, find those folks on Instagram. And of course, you not, can't always do everything for free. You know, yeah. um, pay to grow. Pay to grow. Okay, because if you're in business. The only way you're going to grow is when people pay. So you yeah. pay to grow. That means you may have to get a coach. Um, you may have to go to a, a workshop or a seminar or get on a challenge that someone's doing. And maybe it's a three or five day challenge. They're all over the place. Yeah. You know what it is that you're looking for, but get clear. <clears throat> and then once you get clear on that, act on it. But those would be the first few things I would say from someone who's just getting started, that it's okay. And that, yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. You're not the only one who's starting from the beginning. Someone who's been there for a while. Um, again, what, what is it that you want to do next? Right? Yeah. Because um, you we've all achieved all we're going to achieve where we are today. Mm. So if you want to get to the next level, yeah. you not only need to be clear on what the next level is that you want to get to and make sure that it's something that is going to cause you to move, not something that you know you can do or you think you can do. Yeah. 
That's why you're not inspired to move to the next level. You're still staying where you are. It has to be something that, excuse me, it's going to cause you to grow. Isn't that the whole purpose of having a goal is to grow? Yeah. It's going to cause you to move. It's going to stretch you to the next place so that you can get to the next space. Yeah. I think a lot of times for those of us who've been around for a while, we keep doing things that we already know how to do, or we think we know how to do, and we go after that, but there's no real movement, so we don't really see a change in what it is we're looking to make happen, because there's not going to be a change, it's not even inspiring, but if you put something that's bigger, that you know it's going to cause you to change, to to become something else, it's going to cause you to read a different book, to have a different conversation with someone, to show up at a different workshop, to walk in a different room, to pick up the phone, X, Y, Z amount of different times than what you were doing before, because it's got to pull you it's got to stretch you to that next level that's how you get to see um, new heights and new things otherwise you stay the same yeah i knew it i knew you dropped some fire some bombs on that one <laughs> that's why that's why i actually knew it <laughs> so thank you thank you thank you thank you so how do we find you how do we find you your your courses uh, how, how do we find you um you know what um, I'm pretty active on, on IG, um, a game expert, send me a message there. And I have, um, so uh, I'm not sure when the, uh, courses drop, but I mean, if, if it's okay, I, w- I would like to put them in the description so people can click on them and get signed up for the six month for the challenge for, for whatever you have. Uh, people definitely need to get deeply involved in what you're doing and, and learn from you because look, look what you what can birth from, from learning from Asia. I mean, you can have a pilot a podcast or a show or, or, or look what can be birthed. So like if, if I can do it, a, a, a shy guy who is afraid of speaking to I me, mean, you can do it too. So uh, I like to put all of your links there if that's okay with you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. No worries. Uh, so anything for us in closing? I want to say thank you for having me on the show today. It's, it's deeply moving. I, 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 I cannot find or tap into the right word in the dictionary. So I just hope that you can feel my energetic pull yes. through right now about yes. how awesome this is and how much fun it is and to hear it to hear what you're sharing and see what you're doing is absolutely amazing and um for those who are out there i would just say believe i don't know that's just on my heart today and then yeah. just that you're worth it you have to know that you're worth it before anyone else will know that you're worth it yeah. sometimes we don't hear it enough so i would encourage you to start just telling yourself you know that you you're worth it and you deserve it and if that feels weird and too woohoo for you so what yeah so what so what so what if if what you're doing now is not working what does it hurt to try what i'm sharing yeah Yeah. because you're worth it you're worth it yeah so uh for me if for all these years um i don't know if i ever said it but but thank you for being inspiration thank you for speaking to my life uh i love everything about you uh i I do and and i just appreciate every single minute i've spent with you listening and being around you and and just just getting that good energy you know getting that inspiration so so thank you very much um and i want to figure out something that we can actually do together Um, i I know it will be great all right Um, so, uh, guys, you heard it directly from Angel's mouth. You know, have, have clarity. Clarity is the biggest thing that you can have. Uh, limit distractions. Uh, but that's it. That's it. I mean, I've been talking to her forever, but I know she has a, a lot to get back to. But thank you guys for watching Born to Create, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. <laughs>